Uh, Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Tommy Fletcher. Just a few days out now from the fight on the Joyce Zhang undercard. How are you doing, Tommy? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, mate. I'm, uh, I'm feeling ready for Saturday and uh, yeah, I'm feeling good, mate. I'm feeling very good. Another big opportunity for you to show what you can do to a to a big audience. How much do you relish these these big occasions? Yeah, it's awesome because at my age, you know, I'm, I'm on these big shows and I'm delivering. I'm, I'm 21 years old and I'm delivering knockouts, and that's what people want to see in this game. You know, people don't want to see go, people go the distance and pussyfoot about in there. They want to see people get knocked out. But um, yeah, Saturday night I'm fighting a guy. He's coming to win. He's got a 50-50 record and uh, he's a bit of a swinger, so we'll see, man. But if it goes to points, then a win's a win in my eyes. Do you feel like you've got used to these big occasions very quickly? Still very young in your career, but you seem at home on the big stage. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting warmed into it now because this is my sixth fight, you know? So if I ain't ready now, I never will be, will I? So uh, yeah, now I'm getting used to the media, the production, all that sort of thing, but I enjoy it, I love it. We've talked a little bit about the preparation there. Is there anything specific you've been working on with Mark and the team in the lead up to this one? Yeah, we've just been training, you know, you know how it goes, boxing training is boxing training. I've been developing myself as a as a boxer, getting technically better. I've had some great sparring for this camp, you know. I've been uh I went over to Vegas sparring Joe Joyce for obviously for this fight. I've uh, I've mixed it with Jordan Thompson for a few weeks as well. He's been my main sparring partner really and uh Craig Richards also and a few other boys. So I've had some great, great sparring for this camp, for sure. What was the experience like out in America? Yeah, it was my first time ever going to America, so I weren't really sure what to expect. But yeah, it was very good out there. Very hot, 45 degrees, I think. So it was uh, very hot. Yeah, very, very hot. 45 degrees. It's not going to be anything like that on Wembley on Saturday night, is it? <laughs> nah, that was the main thing, though. Like... Um, you go sparring when you're warming up you feel like you've done 10 rounds already just in the warm-up so um yeah it was great out there very good in terms of joe going into this one he went in as a, a fairly heavy favorite in the first fight against zile zhang it's going to be different this time around i think people have woken up to how powerful and how quick in those early rounds zhang is how do you see the fight who do you think's the favorite going into it now i think everyone thought first time round joe was going to win comfortably you know and i did myself but you don't, you don't win an Olympic silver medal for nothing, do you? So, like, he's a good fighter, and I think everyone appreciates that he's a good fighter, but I think when Joe beats him on Saturday night, it'll make victory even sweeter because of how, how good of a fighter he is himself, you know? So, I think once Joe beats him on Saturday, he'll be in the mix of, back in the mix of all these top names again. I spoke to Dev Sarni from Queensbury earlier, and he was saying maybe a little bit complacent in that first round, maybe underestimated... Zile Zhang a little. The fact that that result happened how it did, do you think that changes the mindset of Joe going into this? Yeah, it's not really my place to comment really too much on that. But I mean, uh, but I mean, yeah, if you've been undefeated, what, what was that? His 14th or 15th fight? Yeah, and then now he's taking his first loss. When you when it's your first loss, I think it will really uh, it will really make the cogs turn in your mind to to get that win back again. So I think he would have he would have left no stone unturned for this fight for sure. How was the sparring with Joe? Because after that fight against Zile Zhang, I think many people thought the eye injury could be a difficult one to deal deal with and could have a bearing on on future fights. Is he all fit and ready to go as far as you're concerned? Yeah, hundred percent. I was living there with Joe and in in the house of all the fighters and um, the team and that. He was motivated. He was up every day training hard. He's coming for revenge. Trust me. He's um he's uh, he's looking very good. Very good. You mentioned Jordan Thompson there. He's in action next weekend against Jai Apataya. Um, a huge fight and many people see that as a big step up for Jordan Thompson going from where he's been right up to world level against Apataya. You've been in the ring with him, as you say. He's been your main sparring partner. Do you expect him to get the job done and get the world title? Yeah, I think he's got all the tools and all the ability to do so. It's like you said before, it's all about how you perform on the night. You know, he's, he's tall, he's six foot seven. He's got good power, so I believe um, he's got all the attributes to do it. He's just got to put it into practice on Saturday. But he look, he's looking very sharp in his camp, and now I must say he's looking very good. So um, I wish him all the best, and I hope he wins it and brings a, a world title back to England. You know, 
with that fight is knockout is the power the main difference there you say six foot seven he's had some huge knockouts on the record is that the route to victory for him yeah you know what i think at that level every single one of them boys can punch hard you know what i mean like with 10 ounce gloves one shot can change any fight but i think with his power if he hits him clean he'll hurt him so it's, it's like anyone at this way if you get hit clean you'll get hurt 100 percent the other guy is at the top of the division, the likes of Lawrence Acoli and Chris Billum smith Do we think that's a fight that we see second time around? Do, do you think Chris Billum smith will won't be wanting to go in another direction? Wait, say that again. With Lawrence, and, Lawrence Acoli and Chris Billum smith do you think Billum smith will want to continue down the rematch route or do you think they'll, we'll, we'll, go, we'll see a different fight? You know what? I thought there was going to rematch and I saw an interview of uh, Chris Billum smith saying that they're having a bit of trouble with broadcasters wanting them to headline or something like that. I can't, I can't really remember, but um, I, I can't, I'm not sure really. I can't really say. Like, I don't really know, but it's, it'd be a good fight again. But in my personal opinion, I think, um, I think Billum Smith beats him again. You know, I think he wins again for sure. But I mean, whether that's the next fight we see for them or not, I don't know. The final one I want to get your thoughts on is at British level, Mikhail Lawal and Isaac Chamberlain, some guys that I think I'm sure you know fairly well. Um, both have, have been there and done it. They've both had storied careers, but this is another big opportunity for them. Which way do you see that tipping? Oh, what a fight that is. I think um, the build-up's looking good. I've been watching the build-up and it's looking very good. But um, in my personal opinion, I'll say it how I, how I think it is. I think Chamberlain will beat Lowell, you know. I think Lowell can punch very hard and he's got a puncher's chance. But I think Chamberlain will be too fast and his boxing brain and IQ will be too much for Lowell's one. Like, I think if you look at it for what it is, Lowell's got one card and that's power. If he if he lands on Chamberlain hard, I think he, he could hurt him. He would, he would hurt him. But I think Chamberlain's got speed, power as well and boxing IQ. So it's a lot of more cards he's got. On the wow, so I think I think he will beat him. You know, have you spent time in sparring or in the gym with either of the two? No, you know what? I've never met either either fighters, but um, obviously I've seen him. I've watched their fights and that. I've just watched boxing as a whole, so you, you just you just see um, fights as you go in that. But I've seen I've seen both of them. I think Chamberlain's going to win though for sure. Well, I've asked you to predict that one. I'll ask you to predict Saturday night as well. What's going to happen on Saturday night, Tommy? I think Joyce will win. Whether that's a stoppage or points decision, whatever it is, I think I believe he'll win Saturday night. And for the main man, the Norfolk Nightmare, what are we going to see? Uh, you're going to see a big knockout Saturday night, hopefully. If not a points decision, don't count me out though, because that backhand will land. <laughs>